LEGO released a new train. Get ready to travel on the downtown streetcar and station from LEGO City. But is this set actually worth it? Should you get it after the fear of missing out from the release day? Well, let's find out if this is the perfect LEGO train model for you. Let's start with the best part, of course, the train. We got three cars with two identical cab units. The roofs are removable, allowing for easy access inside. The way this is accomplished is quite nice, utilizing minimal parts but also resulting in a streamlined, aerodynamic look outside. The use of teal and red with black creates a bold look that we haven't seen since this LEGO City train and those classic 80s LEGO trains from back in the day. One downside is these huge doors that open outside the train instead of sliding side to side like you do see in real life. The middle car gets a pantograph, the only one in this train, while the others get some sort of ventilation system. The highlight of this design is the cab. The shape of the nose is quite unique for an official LEGO set. It has a low profile look and a smooth surface. There are some gaps but nothing major. And if you are wondering, this build is accomplished via a very clever building technique. There is also a bumper below, which just adds an extra touch to this very nice model. There is another major downside and that's that the interior only features two seats. Not a lot, meaning most figures are going to be left standing here and with no guide rails, this is going to be a very painful ride. Then we have my favorite detail, this station indicator showcasing the next stop of the tram. The other car features two wheelchair stickers outside and this is a major drawback of the set, the amount of stickers used. For many fans, this is outrageous. Inside the car we get a place to put a wheelchair of course, other than that it is surprisingly quite similar to the other cars. The thing I don't like about this train or tram is how much space there is between the cars leaving these huge gaps. This train can navigate curves if you are wondering, but I'm probably going to modify this. Another issue is the question of motorization. LEGO doesn't officially support motorization for this model. However, that didn't stop fans from creating their own custom solutions, and currently the best way is to significantly change the buggy system to allow a standard motor to be put there. This set is not just a tram, it also includes two platforms or one and a half depending on who you ask. One side includes a small cafe, perfect for a last minute caffeine hit. This is a perfect place for Starbucks addicts. It also includes one of my favorite new Lego pieces, this cup. We also get a barista minifigure that looks just like a real life Starbucks employee. Though, is she really a barista if she is just using an espresso machine? Now if you are American you might be wondering what this is doing in a train station, but you will find many cafes inside train stations around the world, instead of sad and lonely platform. At the top we have an elaborate green and white awning. We also have two solar panels. There is a small oversight here. These panels are completely flat meaning they are not getting the most optimal performance. The tilt angle of a solar panel depends on your latitude, so this flat solar panel would work only at the equator. If you want to find out the most optimal angle, just add about 10 degrees to your latitude. So for me that would be about 33 degrees. We also have a standard ticketing machine, utilizing this new computer print. However, the system seems to use standard tickets like the ones you do find in a movie theater or theme park, according to the LEGO lore. And not standard metro cards, which can be problematic. This set includes many accessibility play features. Some of them work, others completely fail. As an architecture student, I know something about accessibility, aka making anyone feel welcomed and well accommodated in a building or public space. The biggest mistake of this set is this ramp, as it's just too steep. Usually we would like something to have an 8% tilt, something nice and soft. However, this ramp is just too steep. If you put a minifigure here, she's going to slide down fast and that can be dangerous. Going up the ramp is also a challenge, as it will take a lot of energy. So overall, this ramp is not accessible and just bad. I would rather LEGO not include it or have it done as an elevator, as it teaches a bad example to kids who don't know better. If you want more accessible ramp, you're going to need more space 
and more money with pieces. Then we have this minifigure that is utilizing a service animal, in this case a beautiful whatever this breed is dog, with a new piece. However, this set makes a big omission tactile flooring. These are things you see in train stations and other public facilities and not However, this set doesn't include any. This could have been easily accomplished via yellow tiles with stickers or prints. However, it's Lego, so of course you can add it yourself. However, one somewhat nice feature is this movable platform. Try lining up with the Lego train doors and allow for level boarding in concept. It removes the gap and is a nice play feature, however, in terms of accessibility, it lacks the ability of the minifigure to get inside the actual train by herself, as there is this massive step. You might have to put the minifigure here with your hands. The set comes with three of these externable platforms. We also get another platform on the other side that can be added with the platform we showcased. It includes this nice map of the system and we see that the red line is actually quite small. We also have a timetable that shows a really bad frequency here, waiting almost an hour for light rail is not optimal. So maybe this is just a government corruption system. So should you get this model as a LEGO train fan, this tram model is very versatile, it can work as a tram, intercity rail, light rail and even metro for a LEGO city. It has its drawbacks, but it's a good enough model, you get a good train and some nice minifigures, plus some platforms you are probably going to throw in the trash. And for $90, I see it as great value, sure there are some small issues, but they are not deal breakers in my opinion. However, you don't need to buy it now. I would wait for a discount or a promotion like double VIP points before picking this model up. But LEGO didn't release just one train, we also got a surprise model this time around. One of the most curious villains of all time has got to be Bowser. This giant turtle has fascinated many for generations and now he has got a train. Wait, what? Introducing the all new Bowser Express train set for $120. The biggest downside is that this model is not LEGO gauge, L gauge. So it's bigger than a standard LEGO train track and it can't fit on them. Additionally, the wheels are more for trucks rather than trains, meaning it won't work on LGB or G gauge track. So you're supposed to run this train on the floor or just leave it as a display piece. Additionally, this model is made for the Lego Mario figures, Peach, Luigi and Mario of course, that don't come with this set. So there's a lot of play features for these figures accomplished via these barcodes. But for many of us, the appeal of this set is its weird design and novelty. It's like a more budget-friendly adult set. It includes this hilarious big Bowser head, locomotive, my favorite part of this model is the use of burgundy pieces as an accent color. It makes the model look more classy. We also have one passenger coach that looks okay, a bit bricky in my opinion. However, one of my favorite features is the handcar. It's such a cute addition when playing, you can detach the handcar, so this LEGO train set is secretly very good for collectors and fans alike. LEGO doesn't have a dedicated trains theme, at least anymore, so for us train fans these new models are quite significant, it means LEGO still cares that they can still make train sets and sell them. If we buy such sets, we showcase to LEGO that trains matter, it's the classic vote with your wallets. However, if you want to see more fantastic models, this time made by fans, click this video on the screen right now. See you there!